Welcome to this iMovie tutorial. Um, <clears throat> first time I tried this, uh, I thought I was just blowing through it, having a great time, and then when I finally stopped and looked at it, I'd talk for 36 minutes. So I'm going to break this all up um, into smaller little bite-sized pieces. So let's go down here, let's launch iMovie, if you can. i um, just going to delete this for a second. Let's launch iMovie. The first thing I'd like you to do is go up here uh, to iMovie, go about iMovie. I'd like to make sure that you have the latest version, 10.1.4 update happened in November of 2016. So let's make sure that you've got that so that we're working on the same version uh, and then yours looks like mine, etc. Um, <clears throat> Uh, there might be later versions coming up, whatever, but it should be for a while. This video should be relevant. Okay, so assuming that you've got that done, let's um, just talk briefly about how we're going to use iMovie. You can use it for business applications, for fun, for family, for whatever you want to do, but um, let's just lay this out here. So here is our event section up here. This is going to be where we're going to be able to watch our footage and this section down here is when we build our movies down below here so if you look here um, this is where I have all of my folders okay so when I see GNFA that was where my band Tribe of One played at the Great Northern Arts Festival so let's say for something like this, it's fine. I know what footage is in there, but I don't have to click. I don't have to do anything other than just move my mouse over top of that folder and it's going to show me what footage, what photos, what uh, video clips are in there. This only matters, like I do slam poetry, and so maybe I'm like, what? where is that... Um, I want to build a movie based on certain media that I've stored. Is that in Slam Poetry Package? Is that in Slam in Schools? That's where I'm just able to quickly roll my mouse over top of these folders and go, yeah, that's the folder I'm looking for, not that one. Oh, yeah, that's the one I want. So anyway, I'm going to choose this. And so I'm just going to quickly show you how we start to import video and photos into our um, timeline here where we're going to make our movie. So here, here's a goofy little thing. Um, when you see the number 3.3, that means that this entire clip is 3 minutes and 3 seconds long. It's kind of embarrassing for me to use this, um, but that should make it more fun for you. So, I uh, click with my mouse here at the left hand side, I press the space bar, and I'll be able to see the footage advance. Now, what you see me doing here, uh, when I'm filming, i am tethered my camera on the tripod to my computer so I can do a live uh, view. Uh, so I can, when I'm shooting, I'm able to look at my monitor, I'm able to get myself centered with my cordless mouse, I'm able to get myself in focus if I need to change the f-stop or whatever. I can do that from in front of the camera. This is because I'm shooting this kind of stuff by myself. That would be another instructional video all on its own. What I'd like to point your attention, draw your attention to, is this blue section right here. This is the audio for the clip. So you can see right now there's virtually no audio. And then right where it starts to be a spike, you're going to see this is where the music is going to come in. Right there, for the sake of this video, that's where the song is going to kick off. I, if I put the cursor line right there and I left click, it's going to stay there. If I press Command B, that's going to split the clip. You can see it up here, um, split clip. I've already done it, that's why it's not highlighted. Uh, Command B. Now what's great about that, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to hit Delete. If you see the yellow, uh, if I click on a clip and the yellow border goes around the clip, then that's the clip that I'm editing. So if I click on this and the yellow line is there, if I hit delete, that's going to be gone. And it's going to start right there, okay? Now, one thing I need to point out that's really helpful to know is that when you're editing in this area down here, it's called non-destructive 
editing. You can delete anything you want and it's still going to be available up here in your event list. You, you, that's why they call it non-destructive editing. You can do whatever you want. Add any effects, add visual effects, you can change the audio, you can change the speed, do whatever you want and your initial text is going to be up here not being affected. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop in a couple split clips and I'll tell you why. So I'm just going to run this. Look at that rakish dance. <laughs> okay. I happen to know this song. I wrote this song for a friend at Christmas, so I know that this is where the lyrics start. So I'm going to do Command B. I'm going to create a split clip there. Now I would like you, you watch up here where you can see the clip. Watch up here when um, it goes over that split. She was you can't see it at all. Okay, you can't see it at all, but I'm gonna show you why we wanna do that. So let's just keep going. Here. She was born with the red river the I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna drop Command B. I'm gonna split that clip again. You know what I'd like to show you just very briefly? This little dial right here, this toggle, this is so helpful when we're editing. If we click on it, left click and hold and drag to the right, all it does here is it um, it spreads this clip in our timeline out so we're able to see it a bit clearer. Like, does that make sense? Kind of like an accordion. We're opening it up so that we can see more specifically. So let's just keep running this clip. Nobody in their right mind would use a clip where they're dancing around like this. I'm going to do another split. Um, Command B. Right there. Oh my gosh. The vulnerability here. Okay, I'm going to put my last clips. Now we've got one, two, three, four clips. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to hit delete. Okay, now I haven't deleted that clip. It's still up here. But if you see this little orange line on that clip, that's the amount of footage from that clip that we've used. Okay, does that make sense? Of course it does. So right now, this here is saying we're using 29 seconds. That's how long our movie is. So anyway, here we go. We've got our video clip and we've got some, I'll show you. Uh, let's draw, just I wanted to show you how to um, add some um, Photos. Good grief. Why did I not? Um, here's the girl that the song is about. She's in my band. So let's go back here. Here we got some lyrics. Maybe I want to add a photo to this part. So. She was born with a red river Do you see how easy that was? I just was able to drag, this is a photo, I'm just able to drag a photo right on top of my video and it just lands right there, okay? Um, let's just add another clip. Let's add this clip here. I'm just going to drag it down, I'm just going to line it up where I put that split. It could be anywhere I want, but let's watch this. She was born with the red river Okay, let's do one more clip. Just um, let's do this. Let's drag a, a black and white in here. So, okay, so basically, that is as easy as it is for starting to build a movie. We're dragging video clips. These are video clips. We're able to drag photos and place them right on top of each other. Let's say, um, this is going to be my last little bit for this video, but let's say right here, and when I want to toggle back and forth, 
Um, the reason you might see me clicking on the gray above the clip, because if I clip on the video, on the photo, anything I do right now, it's going to apply whatever I do to that photo. Does that make sense? If I click here, nothing's highlighted. So if I press the space bar, I'm just watching the movie that I'm starting to make. Now maybe when you're doing, let's say you're making a, a business video, you want to make a video about your product or your service. And instead of dancing around like a goofball, this is you talking about your product or your service. Then you want to show your product. You can fly this video in while you're talking. So it's the music for me because this is the song that I'm making this little goofy dance to. But while you're talking, the video of your product is right there. Now, if you say, well, I don't want to go back to me, sometimes you do want to go back to yourself. You can just grab this photo and you can make it last as long as you want. She was because maybe you want to come back to yourself talking about your product here. You don't want to leave people hearing a disembodied voice talking for too long. You can make this as long or as short as you want. In fact, maybe you don't want to go back to yourself right here. Maybe you want it to be a succession of um, product shots. So you can just pull this photo to match up with this one. So what that means is... Your, uh, your video is still playing underneath. Your le your, the length of your video hasn't lengthened at all. It's still 29 seconds. These photos, the way I'm doing it right now, um, the audio for your track is playing continuously. So if this was a narrative that you were doing for your business and you had recorded it, this is going to be as long, uh, it's exactly as long as you want. Um, you can put these photos in very easily. Maybe you want to come back to yourself in your room right here. So you can pull that back. And then you want to go back to a photo. Alright, so this crazy dude who's jumping around. This is a short little video. We're gonna, it's gonna be a series of videos. Number two, the next part, I'm gonna show you how we add titles and text to this video and how we can do um, cropping to not only the video, but to the photos themselves. This is gonna be important. Somebody had asked me the other day about doing a, a guitar instructional video. So learning how to crop and use the um, video effects in editing here is gonna be very important uh, and relevant to you if you're doing product-based videos, okay? So this was part one. If you have any questions, any comments, if I went too fast, too slow, if there's anything else that I missed that just wasn't clear, please let me know in the comments below or send me an email to info at rickleaf.com. All of this contact information, of course, will be in the video description below. But uh, thanks for watching. I am hoping that this is gonna help you create videos. Um, I wanna give you the information you you need so that you can make great videos for your product service company family vacation travel anything you want to do fun or um, formal so I will talk to you very shortly in the next video